What are immunomodulatory drugs and how do they work? So IMIDs, uh, of course, have a, a, a slightly controversial history prior to the discovery that they were effective in myeloma. Thalidomide was, as a lot of people know, initially used uh, uh, f for morning sickness in uh, pregnant women. And uh, obviously that had a terrible teratogenic or birth defect uh, effects. Uh, it was later actually uh, realized that this compound could have a beneficial effect in myeloma and it was uh, tested in that uh, uh, arena uh, and had some efficacy. Uh, thalidomide also has uh, some nerve toxicity and causes somnolence. So it's next generation agents, lenalidomide and pomalidomide, uh, have uh, less of these uh, neurologic side effects and are uh, very effective and better tolerated as well. As a class of drugs, these drugs target both the myeloma cell and also uh, immune cells. Uh, and what they do is they, they actually lead to the degradation of uh, specific uh, proteins. Uh, they're called Icaros proteins. And those uh, proteins that are degraded actually uh, affect different processes in the myeloma cells that leads to the death of the myeloma cells. Uh, and then, then in the immune cells. In the immune cells, they actually lead to further activation of immune cells. Um, and so in that sense, that's why they are called immunomodulatory drugs, because they have this multiple um, immune effects where they lead to uh, activation of uh, natural killer cells and T cells uh, that are thought to be important in part of the uh, efficacy of these drugs. So one form of um, immunotherapy that probably everybody is familiar with um, in very broad terms is our, our drugs such as uh, Revlimid and, and pomalidomide. These are developed as what are called immunomodulatory derivatives of a drug known as thalidomide, which was a very old drug. And what it does is that it globally improves the patient's immune system in addition to fighting the myeloma. So it probably has several roles. And that has really served as a baseline for a lot of other therapies that have been developed. In large part because it can continue to um, modulate and potentially enhance immune responses.